the therefore the power series solution of given differential equation one is y is equal to summation and runs from 0 to infinity a and x raised to n that is a naught plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus a3 x cube plus a4 x raised to 4 plus a5 x raised to 5 and so on that is y is equal to a naught plus a1 x plus value of a2 value of a2 is a naught by 2 1 half a naught value of a2 plus a3 is 1 by 6 1 by 6 minus 1 by 6 a1 x cube here is a naught x square then 1 by 6 minus 1 by 6 a1 x cube value of a3 plus value of a4 value of a4 minus 1 by 8 a naught x raised to 4 minus value of a5 minus 1 by 24 plus sign minus 1 by 24 plus 1 by 24 a1 x raised to 5 x raised to 4 here is a6 a6 is there a6 is what this a5 then plus the value of a6 7 by 240 a naught x raised to 6 plus value of 112 value of what a is a7 112 a1 x raised to 7 plus so on and therefore final answer is y is equal to the constant terms first 1 by 6 x cube minus 1 by 24 x raised to 5 plus 1 by 112 x raised to 7 and plus or next term minus plus a naught the coefficient of a naught 1 plus 1 half x square this term 1 half x square plus not plus minus 1 by this minus 1 by 8 x raised to 4 plus 7 by 240 x raised to 6 plus so on and the plus a1 the coefficient of a1 is x this x minus 1 by 6 x cube plus 1 by 24 x raised to 5 minus 112 x raised to 7 plus so on so this is the final answer this is the power series solution of the given differential equation this is the power series solution of the given differential equation next is this find the power series solution of Legendre's differential equation 1 minus x square y double dash minus 2xy dash plus p p plus 1y is equal to 0 so substitute this y double dash summation n runs from 2 to infinity n n minus 1 
a n x raised to n minus 2 minus this 2 x summation n runs from 1 to infinity n a n x raised to n minus 2 this is the value of y dash plus this p p plus 1 summation n runs from 0 to infinity a n x raised to n the value of y okay then multiply by this factor to this bracket so we have this term 1 into this is this term then x square minus x square into this term minus 2x shift this minus 2x uh, 2x in the summation so we have here is 2 and x raised to n minus 1 into x is x raised to n plus summation n runs from 0 to infinity p p plus 1 a n x raised to n this term this ship this p and p plus 1 in in the summation then uh, replace uh, uh, then uh, this summation n runs from 2 to infinity uh, replaced by summation n runs from 0 to infinity and the factor is what replace n by n plus 2 okay summation replace this n by n plus 2 we have this and then this x square and x raised to n minus 2 becomes x raised to n then this term as it is this term as it is okay then next step is what this term as it is now observe this term n runs from 2 to infinity is replaced by n runs from 0 to infinity but here this n is not replaced by n n plus 2 why because if we substitute n is equal to 0 then in this formula then we have answer 0 so 0 is added and if we substitute n is equal to 1 in this formula then what we have this is 1 but n 1 minus 1 is 0 and then we, again we have n is equal to 0 answer so if n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1 in this formula we have both terms are equal to 0 so by adding 0 there is no change in the, the S, LHS side so just added 0 2 times n is replaced from 2 to infinity by n runs from 0 to infinity just added 0 2 times that's why uh, don't write this n replace n by n plus 1 or n plus 2 the next step this uh, n runs from 1 to infinity is replaced by n runs from 0 to infinity because if we replace, if we substitute n is equal to 0 in this formula 2n n plus n into x raised to n, then we have answer 0. N, if n is 0, then this we have is equal to 0. And therefore, just 0 is added. And this term as it is. So, observe this step. All these uh, powers of x are what? Rest to n. x raised to n. Here is we have x raised to n. Here we have x raised to n. Here we have raised to n. If we replace this n by n plus 2, then this x raised to n becomes x raised to n plus 2. And it is, uh, then it becomes our term. That's why we have, we want all these powers of x is equal to n. That's why this is the adjustment. Don't replace here. Here is replace n by n plus 1. Here is the, here, if we repl uh, write n, n sum from 2 to infinity, we have, we have to uh, reduce this to n is equal to 0 to infinity plus n by n plus 2. But it's, it's supporting to your calculation because n minus 2 becomes x raised to n. So, all the terms are then converted to x raised to n and all the terms are converted to limit, uh, summation n runs from 0 to infinity. Here is summation n runs from 0 to infinity. Here is summation n runs from 0 to infinity. Here is summation n runs from 0 to infinity. All in all four terms, the summation is what runs from 0 to infinity. And observe all these four terms, the power of x is n. So that's why this is the adjustment. Here this n runs from 2 to infinity, reduced to n runs from 0 to infinity, but by 
not by using replacing n by n plus 2. Here is n replace n by n plus 2. But here because if you replace n by n plus 2 then this x raised to n becomes x raised to n plus 2. But we want all the powers of x is equal to n and summation n, n runs from 0 to infinity. That's why we have this. Then take this summation n runs from 0 to infinity as common x raised to n as common this bracket then this bracket is 0 for all n is runs from 0 1 2 3 this is the Legendre's equations and this is a homogeneous differential equation but without constant coefficients uh, uh, this y double dash the coefficient of y double dash is 1 minus x square uh, in the power series solution it is not essential to reduce this uh, coefficient of y double dash equal to 1 uh, don't uh, reduce this equation uh, as a uh, power of, uh, as a coefficient of y double dash is equal to 1. It is not uh, necessary. Uh, if you find a singular points, then it is essential. So, we have this and then uh, we have this is equal to 0 for all n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 up to infinity. Then take, uh, find the value of a n plus 2 from this equation. This is the value of a n plus 2. This n square plus n minus p, p plus 1. This is the calculation. What is a n plus 2? a n plus 2 is this. n square plus n. <coughs> from this step. n runs from. Then substitute n is equal to 0. What do we have? n is equal to 0. a2 is equal to. Substitute in this formula n is equal to 0. We have this. Then substitute n is equal to 1 in this formula. Then we have a3 is equal to this by substituting n is equal to 1. So the calculation of this 2 minus p, p into p plus 1 is this minus p square plus p minus 2 divided by 3 factor 6 means a1. Uh, we have value of a2 in terms of a0, value of a3 in terms of a1. The factorization of this p square plus p minus 2 is this. Then substitute n is equal to 2. We have a4 is equal to this 6 minus this 4. 2 square is 4 plus 2 6 minus p. p plus 1 divided by 4 into 3 a2. Substituting n is equal to 2. So we have this calculation divided by 12. And the value of a2. a2 is what? This is a2, p minus p, p minus p plus 1 by 2 factorial means 2, a0. Then calculation is this. The factorization of this is p, p into this p plus 2. And then we have this value, 24 divided by 24 means 4 factorial, a0. This is the value of a4. Then value of a5 for that could substitute n, n is equal to 3 we have a5 is equal to this is the answer a3 substitute a3 and this calculation of this is what 12 minus p square minus p take this minus sign common p square plus p plus 12 becomes minus 12 this factorization is p plus 4 p minus 3 the factorization of this and this is the value of a3 so we have this is the value of a5 similarly substitute n is equal to 4 in that equation so we have a6 in, in this form a4 substitute a4 and so we have a6 is this okay this is the a6 that p minus p p plus 1 p plus 3 p plus 5 p minus 2 p minus 4 6 factorial a naught this is a6 okay so a, a8 is what in similar fashion we can write a8 what is a6 and a4 if we observe a4 and a6 then what is a4 is p p plus 1 p plus 3 p minus 2 so here the terms are plus minus plus minus a6 and a8 so what is a6 is minus so a8 is plus p p plus 1 p plus 2 p plus 5 p p plus 1 p plus 3 p plus 5 here p p plus 1 p plus 3, p plus 5, p plus 7, p minus 2, p minus 4, and then p minus 6. Similarly, a7 is what? If you observe a5 and a7, 
then what is a a5 p plus 2 p plus 4 here is p plus 2 it, this term is plus this term is minus p plus 2 p plus 4 p plus 6 and p minus 1 p minus 3 here is p minus 1 p minus 3 p minus 5 divided by 5 factorial here is 7 factorial a1 so uh, these terms so a2 a4 a6 and 8 observe a1 a3 a5 a7 these are the similar terms so the power series solution is what this is the power series solution y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x raised to 4 substitute the value of uh, a0 a as it is a1x as it is minus this value of a2 is this minus p p plus 1 by 2 factorial a0 x square similarly substitute the value of a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 substitute all the values and then take this a0 as common we have this is the bracket and take the a1 as common we have this bracket okay in bracket what is the terms here plus term 1 plus then minus plus minus plus minus the terms and here is also plus minus plus minus this is minus term a7 a7 is minus term here write minus sign don't write plus sign a7 a7 is minus term so plus minus plus minus terms then plus term and observe this this is p p plus 1 p plus 2 then p plus 3 here is p plus 3 here is p plus 5 extra term p plus 7 okay and here is here here from p minus 2 here p minus 4 then p minus 2 p minus 4 p minus 6 Next term is what? P minus 2, P minus 4, P minus 6, P minus 8. Next term. To find x raised to 10. Similarly, here are the terms. P plus 2, P minus 1, P plus 2, P plus 4, P minus 1, P minus 3. So, P plus 2, P plus 4 is P plus 6. P minus 1, P minus 3. Here is P minus 1, P minus 3, P minus 5. Divided by 3 factor, 5 factor, 7 factor, x raised to 7. So, this is the final answer of Legendre's polynomial.